Social media has become embedded into our society. You can't step out of your house without seeing people on their smartphones, tablets, or computers browsing their social media sites. For the average college student, social media is used to keep up with friends and receive news. But for college athletes, they're playing with a different set of rules. Players across the country are receiving punishment for their use of social media outlets. Some schools have banned their players from using social media altogether. Kevin DeShazo of Fieldhouse Media, a company which provides social media education and monitoring, says schools are trying a variety of ways to protect their athletes and programs. Some that will keep it in-house, and what they'll do is they'll use programs like Hootsuite or TweetDeck, uh, and they'll follow their own players on, on Twitter, uh, and they'll friend student-athletes on, on Facebook, uh, and then they'll put them in a, in, in a list on Hootsuite or TweetDeck so they can see what they're saying at all times on Twitter. Here at Oklahoma State, head coach Colin Carmichael of the women's soccer team is one who used to ban athletes from social media, but now has changed his position. Uh, we allow our kids to, to have their Facebook and Twitter accounts and things like that, and uh, we just monitor them pretty closely to make sure that they're you know, not saying things that could be taken the wrong way or maybe inappropriate for athletes and things like that. DeShazo agrees that athletic programs need to watch over their athletes. Uh, on some level, you have to be monitoring. Uh, and, and maybe that just means following them, right? Just at the very, at the most basic level, just following them on Twitter and seeing what they're what they're doing, what they're saying, uh, because they're representing not only themselves but the university as well. OSU men's tennis head coach Jay Udwadia is not concerned with his players' social media usage as long as they are educated in proper etiquette. We try to stress, you know, only only post things that are proper and appropriate. So if you do that, if you educate the players, I don't see it, if it's going to be a big problem. I think there's more pluses than negatives. Jared Womack, a former baseball player here at OSU, remembers the instructions he was given by the sports information directors and his coaches. Our coach had numerous meetings with us about how, you know, someone would put you know, up a posting about insinuating they were drinking or out at the bars. But they basically said, listen, don't put anything up like that. Keep it professional. Make people look at you at a higher standard than your typical college student. With all these athletes at universities using social media sites, who should get the final say on policy and punishment for misuses? At Oklahoma State, individual team coaches get to decide their team's protocol, and Coach Carmichael agrees. Our kids are very different from the, the men's basketball team. I mean, as far as what they do and their social activities and things like that. So, I mean, I think you have to you have to leave some of that leeway up to the coaches to determine what's appropriate or not and also what kind of repercussions will be if you don't stick to the guidelines. DeShazo doesn't approve of different policy for teams at the same university. He says problems can arise with separate treatment. At the least it should be a department level, not, not team level. When you've got so many different teams operating different ways, that's confusing for everybody and, and why should a soccer player be treated differently than a softball player. Um, they're both representing the university in a very public way when they're online. DeShazo says banning student athletes from social media sites is an ineffective ploy. Students will find a way on their sites if they really want to, and there's no direct impact on the playing field. Oklahoma State had its greatest season ever with stars Brandon Whedon and Justin Blackman tweeting the entire season. Kansas, however, banned their students from using social media sites and only won two games. For O-State TV, I'm Mike Schaus.